Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at another planner. This is the Baron Fig Planner for 2020. So I'm gonna, I got sent this for a uh, sort of review by uh, Baron Fig. So uh, thank you to those guys. If you're not familiar with the brand, check them out. I really love the paper. Uh, it's just got the right amount of tooth for me and I think the products are really well thought out uh, and this is a great example of that. So this is the 2020 planner, this is the dated version. There is also an undated version which can be used at any time obviously. The dated version has the setup for 2020. So it comes in this box with some nice sort of information on the back which you can pause uh, and read there if you want. I'll cover a few of these bits and pieces in this review. So, we take the top off, and what we get is, the first thing in here is a little card that has the full year to view calendar. It's uh, just included in the box as a separate insert. Uh, so, that's there too. And here is the actual planner itself. So, this is the flagship size, um, which basically means that it is 5.4 by 7.7 .7 inches. And like most Baron Fig uh, books, it's got this beautiful linen cover. Here it is in next to a standard confidant, the uh, standard sort of notebook, which I've been using for a while and absolutely adore. So you can see the dimensions are the same, a couple of little differences, particularly the date on the bottom there. And um, you can get different colours for some of these as well. Uh, and the ribbon on the notebook is yellow, the ribbon on the planner is this sort of silver grey. So those are the two big differences, and there are obviously differences on the inside. Now this is not a standard A5 size. They call this like the smart dimensions, uh, sort of being developed uh, in you know, to sort of fit certain, you know, lifestyle things. Slightly smaller to fit in, you know, easier for carry, all that sort of thing. You can see next to a standard A5 Leuchtturm notebook, it's a little bit sort of shorter, and it's also sort of narrower. Uh, there, but it, it doesn't feel small. It's it's bigger than B6 or a, a, a A6 certainly. So let's do a little walkthrough. I'm then going to talk about a couple of the features, uh, do some ink, show some ink in it, uh, and then uh, talk about some pros and cons. Okay, so as I said, it's got this nice linen cover. It's a sort of a nice sort of stitch binding and all of that sort of stuff. Hard cover. We are talking a hard cover here. Uh, in the front it's got a little space to you know, write your name and all those sorts of things. Then, just an introductory page. Then we get, sort of, oh we do get the year of view right there. So we get a separate insert of that in the card. Um, then we get a monthly setup. So one of the things that this uh, does sort of feature is the fact that you can look at your year, eight, you can look at each day in three different ways on the yearly view, so either there on in the book or on this separate card. You can then look at it in the monthly setup, or when we flip through to the standard setup, you've got the week at a glance with each day there visible as well. So this is nice with sort of the sort of the uh, um, setup of, of this. There are a couple of months where we get, I'll try and find one, days split like this, which isn't my favourite feature, but if you're wanting to fit enough onto the page, you do have to do something like that. Um, and of course the weekends are split, uh, Saturday, Sunday, down the side there. So there are planners that uh, manage to fit this in a slightly different format, slightly smaller boxes uh, for the days, and then like maybe like a notes column down the side or something like that, uh, to allow for four and three, and then the fourth column being for notes. Uh, this is just the setup that Baron Pig have done. There is, and this goes across all of the pages, a lot of space here at the top, which is part of the design, but this could easily be, you know, half that depth, allowing for a sort of a bit more space uh, on the page. Not that you're short of space on this weekly setup, but there are probably different ways this could be set out. This is just the way that Baron Pig have decided to go about it. So you go through each month uh, like that, and then we get to the to the weekly setup, and as I said, you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on one side, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. Um, the, pay, the months are uh, sort of tabbed on the side, so you can sort of easily find, you know, what month you are in. And uh, when you hold the book shut, 
you can, I don't know if this has come up on the camera, but you can see where those go and you can also see uh, an index lining there for where the notes begin. So it goes through each day, every day is included for the year, every week, every month. It's a nice setup. Then we get at the end of that, so we find ourselves in January 2021, 20, the first couple of days as the week falls. Then we get note space. And now this is the five mil uh, dot grid. And you get something like, um, I think it's around 50 pages of this uh, at the back, which you know is very handy if you want to take notes. This allows this book to be used for bullet journaling if you decided to. Things like your to-do lists and your project spreads and things could be done in here. It's not a huge amount of pages and I know a lot of people would burn through that quite quickly if that's what you were using it for, but you also have space for planning in a separate section at the front with the actual planner itself. Now the last 12 of these pages are perforated, so they can be easily removed without having to destroy the binding of your book, which is always a good feature in a lot of these notebooks. Then at the back, just get the more cardstock, the end pages, and then the back of the book, which uh, is sort of embossed with barren fig there. As I said, there's 2020 embossed there on the front. So a couple of specs uh, for this planner. Firstly, as I said, the size is 5.4 by 7.7 .7 inches. Uh, the Dot grid is five millimeter. The paper is acid free uh, and 90 GSM paper. There is a bit of tooth on it, but it's quite, quite nice. Um, the book is promoted to lie flat and with a, a gentle press down, you can get any page to lie flat because the binding is sort of these sewn and glued uh, little signatures there, if you can see those. And then there's no sort of hard spine. So the spine actually bends with the book, which allows it to lie flat uh, once you sort of open it out onto the page, which is great because a lot of these planners will sit on people's desks uh, open as they're working you know, through them. So let's look at this paper then. So I've done basic sort of standard ink tests that I do in sort of every notebook. Use a few different fountain pens, Noodler's Base State Blue, of course. Um, I've used everything from medium nibs and broad nibs and extra fine. Then I've used roller balls and a ballpoint and highlighters and a Sharpie marker, ultra fine marker there, and a Palomino Blackwing. Now, um, this paper is not the best for erasing grey lead pencils. Um, this is a soft one, but uh, it does leave quite an impression there on the page. If we look at the back, however, you see the only things that really come through are the base date blue and the sharpie marker and that's sort of to be expected there's not a huge amount of ghosting on this paper and uh, not a lot uh, bleeds through if we look up close here in terms of feathering it actually does a pretty decent job so let's talk a few pros and cons let's start with the cons firstly it's a slightly smaller book so if you're wanting an a5 planner you might want to look uh, elsewhere uh, it is, as I said, it is a little bit smaller, so there is less room on the page. Baron Fig do make a bigger notebook, but they don't make the planner in that size. Uh, another con uh, of this uh, for some people is the paper. I really like Baron Fig paper. Some people don't like the tooth of the paper, um, which means it's like a sort of a slight texture to it. It's not super smooth like uh, Rodeo or Clairefontaine or anything like that, uh, but it is pleasant to write on. It does allow a nice feedback uh, as you write. Another thing with uh, the Baron Fig paper is that the dot, while not intrusive, is quite large and uh, ink doesn't stay on it by nature of how it's printed onto the page. So I'll see if I can capture an example of that, but if you look there at uh, that red sample, you can actually see the dots where the uh, ink hasn't sort of stuck to them. You can actually see it on a lot of these. But you can see there particularly. So if you're doing... Uh, bullet journal planning with colour washes and all that sort of stuff, just be aware that it's not going to stick to the dots, you'll see the dots through it. Now let's talk the pros of this. Firstly, the build quality on these Baron Fig books is beautiful. The rounded corners allows for what well, stops a lot of the damage on the book, um, as does that slight hangover of the hardcover, protects the pages, which is really nice. The ribbon is not too long. A lot of people complain the ribbons are too short on this. They're not for, for me. But if you get notebooks that the ribbon is too long, people complain about that too. So each to their own. I love the simplicity, the minimalist sort of nature of this. I love the elegant font. Um, I do think there's a little bit too much space at the top wasted on these 
pages, but that's okay. Um, it's a simple, elegant planner. There's no fuss, there's no, um, well, you know, a lot of these sort of planners include extra things about, you know, um, habit tracking and all of those sorts of things. If you're not into that, this is a really great planner for you. Uh, and also the paper quality, how the actual ink, how it handles ink, different sorts of pens, all that sort of thing, it handles it really nicely. So this is something to think about if you are looking for a planner that is not uh, filled with extra features and all of those sorts of things, something that you want that is clear, concise, and allows you to do the planning for yourself. Now, this book retails for $22 American. You can only really get it from Baron Fig. Um, and I think they're a company worth supporting. Their notebooks and their range of stationery items are actually really nice. The paper they use is, I think, as I said, pretty good. Uh, not everyone's favorite, but for me, I really like it. So this is something to think about. I think this is a really good planner. I think the layout is excellent. I think the way it's presented um, in these beautiful boxes uh, is really nice. And these will make great uh, for archiving later. Um, you know, you can sort of easily um, store it in these, you know, covers for years if you decide that's what you want to do. So if you're not familiar with Baron Fig, go to their website, check out uh, the planners, check out the notebooks. They make a great range of like desk pads and sticky notes and they've got some pen options as well. Uh, mainly, you know, rollable boy, ballpoint type pens, which is great. Um, check out Baron Fig. So these books last. I've been carrying uh, this one for quite a while. And um, you can see like, yes, you get some scuff marks in the linen. Uh, you can sort of clean them off. Uh, but the books hold up. They're not sort of falling apart. They're not, you know, the binding stays together. The paper quality is, is good as an asset free. So these are a really nice option for a simple, elegant planner uh, that gives you space to do what you need to do without all the frou-frou. This was the Baron Fig 2020 Planner. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, uh, please get in touch. Uh, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. My email address is in the uh, description of this video if you want to drop me an email about any of that. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your planners. Finding the right planner for you for 2020, this might be the one. I'll talk to you later.